How do vloggers do this thing, man? It's heavy to hold this camera. So, Austin here. Long story short, I'm about to have my footage featured on ABC Channel 7 News, which is uh, very much official um, channel on broadcast TV. So, kind of exciting. Um, oh, shit, right there. Lights for Little Lies Memorial Walk will be virtual this year. This is video from previous years. The New Year's Eve event honors the children who have died during the year and offers support to their grieving families. The free event usually includes a walk, dub release, candle lighting, music, and a naming ceremony. At Athens Park in South Los Angeles, long lines for food distribution this morning. All right, there you go. I'm famous now. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a little unexpected. I didn't uh, really plan for it to just pop up there so quickly, but, uh, you know, can't take your blessings how you want them. You just, uh, as they happen, you know? Um, that made no sense. For context, basically my client, the Unforgettables Foundation, does this event at the end of the year, New Year's Eve exactly, um, where they put on this big walk and they invite um, a lot of people, families of children who have passed away. Um, tough, the Unforgettables Foundation. It's a, it's a non-profit organization that basically financially helps families who've had a child pass away if they're under the age of 18 and they can't afford a proper burial for them. I gotta switch hands. Sorry, it's heavy. Um, due to COVID this year, they can't hold the actual event, the walk to raise awareness and uh, commemorate the children. Uh, the actual event is called uh, Lights for Little Lives. But because of COVID, they can't do it in person. So we're doing a, a virtual version of it where we're taking the footage that I shot for it last year and uh, repackaging it. But coincidentally, at the exact same time, we weren't planning this, the um, ABC7 Channel News just happened to reach out to uh, Tim, the uh, founder and uh, CEO of the Unforgettables Foundation, and uh, told him they wanted to do a little spotlight on him on the four o'clock block, which is what just happened. So um, I got in touch with ABC, sent them uh, some footage, and there you go. I had to document this historic event. You know, being a broadcast uh, broadcast filmmaker. Um, you never know, maybe I'll get on TV again uh, if they lose their brains once more and decide that, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I really don't know how to end this, so uh, we're just gonna do it like this. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. Cut. This is horrible. <sighs> so tough, man. This is really hard. I think I'm on like eight takes now. My arms. I'm gonna build some massive jacked arms by holding this up. If you wanna get in shape, just become a vlogger. You'll instantly get more tone and buff in your upper, upper body region. So yeah, basically that's it. Uh, I'm a broadcast, uh, broadcast distributed filmmaker, videographer, cinematographer, I don't know what you wanna call me, but um, I've done it. I'm famous mom, thank you.